All right, it's time to put the pivot points in place because the pivot points are really the heart and soul of cutout animation. They are going to enable you to control your character. And the best way to determine where to place pivot points is to look at real life. Look at your arm. Where does it actually swing from? I mean, where does your shoulder swing from? Where is it attached to your, your torso? How about your elbow and, and your wrist? At what point does it allow it to move? in a natural fashion. So let's go ahead and use our rotation tool here in our scene planning tools, this guy right here, to establish where our pivots are going to be. And we're going to use our timeline to select the pegs to place the pivot points. So what I'm going to do is start off with the head. So I'll go ahead and choose the head. And as you see, the pivot point is in a crazy location. If I were to rotate now, the head would do some pretty weird animation. And if your head does that, folks, you might need to go to the doctor immediately. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to grab the green pivot point and put it where it should be for the head, which is right about the base of the neck area. And these can always be adjusted. So if they're not quite right for this animation, we can fix it. So the head is where I want it. Let's move on down and we're going to choose the right arm pivot point, which is the shoulder. And I'm going to grab this guy and we're going to put that right about here where it should rotate. And I use the word should because as I said, we won't know until we test these pivot points. We're gonna to go to the right forearm now. And once again, let's drag that where it meets the elbow area. Let's move on down to the right hand and we'll move that to the wrist area so the hand can move and rotate and do all of its fun stuff. And the revolver, of course, is going to animate as well it's going to spin around. So we're going to grab that and put that right about where the handle or the gun grip would be right about here. And once again, when we rotate it, if it doesn't look quite right, we can always move that to where it belongs. I'm going to scroll down some more and we're going to choose the left arm. And we're going to put that guy right about here as well. Let's move on down to the left forearm and place that pivot point where it belongs right here in the crook of the arm. Moving down, we're going to go to the left hand and put that right on the wrist. And you'll notice that I'm putting these pivots on the pegs, not on the artwork. So whenever you see the P, that's where I'm going. I'm putting that right there on the P. We're going to drag the pivot point now for the revolver. And we're going to put that guy right about here because it's going to spin around in his palm. The hips aren't going to move, but it doesn't hurt to put the pivot point there anyway. So we'll grab the pivot point and put that right in the hip area. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the legs, which in this animation are not going to move. But we'll go ahead and just drop that down. And the poncho. We'll go ahead and put a pivot point for the poncho. And this thing might rotate a little bit from the wind so we'll go ahead and just throw that right up here because if we use the handle it'll move side to side in the character. So we have our pivot points in place and all we need to do now is to test them out to make sure the character moves properly and also to see whether we missed any pivots.